Wealth again. We're going to be doing today another demonstrational video on how to install a stone veneer. We've already completed the prep with the concrete pour and we are getting ready to install the stone. The stone paint we're going to be using is Tudor Wall Limestone and we will be using our new stone adhesive product. It's uh, a lot faster and cleaner to work with from old methods which is stone and grout and uh, we're about to get started. We'll be installing them where there will be mortar joints between the stone and we will show that whole process on how that's done as well. So as you can see, uh, the wall is finished. We use a new sort of adhesive again to uh, install the stone in a very quick and uh, clean manner. Our water table sill is installed. And just to go back again to talk about these corners, these were not 90 corners, they were 45s. So we use ordinary straight pieces and we just did an overlap uh, pattern and just alternating the way each piece overlaps just maintain a natural look to the wall. Now we're gonna get ready to do the uh, the grout uh, joint thing. All right, so now that the stone is installed and set, uh, we're gonna start with the application of the grout joining. Uh, first thing you wanna do is you make, wanna make sure you protect your surface, especially with interior. You don't wanna dirty up the hardwood, laminate, whatever you have with grout. All right, so now we're ready to mix up the mortar for the joints. Uh, we're using S-type in this situation, it's King 219. Uh, we're using grey grout, there's different colors depending on the color of stone and your personal preference. And pretty much what we do is we have a clean bucket and a bucket with some water in it. We're going to add a little bit of water to the clean bucket, add the mortar, mix it up. Uh, when you mix it up, you're going to want to mix it thoroughly, wait a few minutes for the uh, bond to properly set, and then we're going to mix it again. Uh, so let's see. This is about the consistency, consistency we're looking for. Uh, pretty much kind of feels like toothpaste. It's not an exact science, it's more of an art. Uh, but pretty much what you want to see is uh, you look in here when you're mixing it. When you take out the mixer, you'll see we still get those soft peaks formed. Give the bucket a few kicks and they go away. You'll be able to tell once you put it in the uh, grouting bag. If it's too thick, it'll be very hard to push through. If it's too runny, it'll fall out. And you can put it back into the bucket, mix up some water, mix up some grout as you need to change the consistency. So now we're just going to give this a few minutes to set and then we're gonna mix it again before we start grouting. We're gonna be doing the joints. We have a ground bag right here. You might wanna trim off this hole a little bit if it's a bit too small. It might be hard for the guys to come out. We're just gonna trim that up with the knife. The size will depend on the joints you have, the thickness of your mortar. So a few little tips when you're adding the grout from the bucket to the bag. You wanna roll the back a little bit. Use it a bit of thickness and it's easier to hold the shape. And put it down on the ground, make sure that the uh, point this on the ground so you're not just throwing down out of the bag. And then you just simply scoop it in. So once you um, get your bag nice and full as much as you want it, you're just gonna pick it up, shake off the excess, remove all the air bubbles at the bottom. Then you wanna grab it at the top, also trying to squeeze out all the air bubbles. We don't want any air in this bag. I try to eliminate it as much as possible. And you can grab it with your right hand or left hand if you're left-handed. Give it a few twists. And ready to go. It's pretty much just like uh, icing a cake. So. What we're gonna wanna do is you always wanna draw away from you. It's much easier that way to grout. So you're not pushing into it, you're pulling away. And you simply squeeze at the back here and guide it with your front hand. And let the grout, you want the grout to actually come out a bit because what we're gonna do is once this dries, we're gonna clean it up with a grouting tool and then brush it off. So if it comes out a bit, it just gives you a little bit more grout to work with. Uh, done all the joints with the grout bag, making sure to go off a little bit. If it goes over the stone, don't worry, don't clean it right away. 
you definitely want to wait for it to dry. So what we're doing now is the grout's still wet. We want it to wait it to dry. About the consistency of a wet sand. Essentially when you run your finger over it, you don't want to see anything left over. So that's obviously we fresh laid so it's brandly wet. And uh, we'll show you once it's dry how it's working. Alright, so now we let the grout set a little bit. As you can see, there's much more resistance. This is the previous time I showed you where it was fresh and I dug right in. And I can see there's a bit more resistance kind of falling off and it doesn't really smear on our fingers as much. So that's what you want to see. That's the kind of uh, grind that's how you want. Three tools you're going to need is the grouting tool. Uh, you can also just use a rounded stick. You can even use your finger. We recommend this just because it's uh, the best way. It has this nice groove and shape here to get the grout nice. Uh, you're going to want to brush for after you clean up the grout with the tool. You want to brush it. And just in case you made a few mistakes, a clean rag to uh, clean up some edges like here. So if you need a little bit of grout there, clean it up with the rag, and then pull it up nice. Pretty much what you want to do here, you just run along your dry grout with the tool. And once again, you're drawing it towards you, you're not pushing it. And you're going to want to do the Higher grout first with the tool before you move on to the brush. The brush usually actually needs the grout, grout to be a little bit drier, so we're going to do a full tooling, check the, uh, the dryness, and uh, see when we can do the brush. Okay, so once we're done here, when you're thinning up the grout, sometimes you'll have that fall off or don't fill in pop up. You see here, skin's still sticking out. All you do with that is you take up some of your grout that you cleaned off, make a little ball out of it, just squeeze it right into there, spread it out with your finger, and it's fixed. So now, this is still too wet to be brushed, but just to show you why it's too wet, when you start brushing, you can see that some of the color is still left on the brush. So as you're brushing, that's gonna go onto the stone, it's gonna look really bad. So you're still gonna wanna wait until when you start brushing, there's no more color of the grout left on the brush. So we're gonna give this a few more minutes and we're gonna continue cleaning up the grout over there. All right, so now that we've let the joints dry a bit, the grout, after tooling it, it's ready for brushing. As you can see, as we brush off, it's gonna be very crumbly. It's not leaving these uh, marks of color on my brush, so I'm not gonna be brushing the color across the stone. And now you very simply, just draw the brush against the grout, clean it up. And you have a few areas like here where the tooling didn't quite get into all the cracks. So either with the tool, just fix those little areas, or with your finger, back with the brush. And you're just gonna work out all of the joint lines until they're all nice and clean. This is the final step, so you wanna be very careful here and make sure that it looks really nice once you're finished. Like I said before, the grout came off a little bit. Take a clean rag. Give it a few wipes. Back with the brush. Alright, so we're all done with this grout over here. Finished brushing. Uh, the grout's a little bit darker now than it will be when it finally dries because it's a little bit wet. It takes about two to three days for it to dry. It's going to come out a slightly lighter color than it is right now. So this is the final product. All that's left to do now is just clean up our mess. And uh, that's it. We finished a beautiful accent wall. And uh, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.